Geralt, I was worried about you. I worried too. I'm proud of you. Heard how you fought for Alvin. Horrible things are happening in Vizima. True, but the king has placed me under his, um, protection. Tell me, uh Oh. where's Alvin? Uh, Alvin vanished into thin air one day, despite the amulet I gave him. Oh god. Vanished? That's awful. He might be anywhere in time and space. I'd hoped the amulet would block those abilities. I hope he'll be all right. Triss, I've been thinking. But enough about, about him. Oh, Geralt. All right, here we go. Yeah, uh, I lost the kid, but um, enough about that. Let's talk about us. She wasn't that bothered, was she? He, he could be anywhere. Yeah, he could. So anyway, uh, we're going to get it on or not. Um, I want Geralt to have a happy ending in all this. I do. I, I feel for the guy. And, and uh, so I'm going to pick number one here. Because I think he deserves it. You know, I am aware that there's a Witcher 2 happening, like they're going to bring out another game. I don't know whether, I don't know anything about it, I don't know whether it's the same Witcher, whether, you know, it's all doomed to failure, but come on Triss, let's, let's give it a go. I love you. I want to be with you no matter what. Love is the sole thing of beauty in these rotten times. Geralt. I could change, take fewer risks. We'd find Alvin, live together. Forget that. I'd build a house. A house? Nice dream. You could breed horses and sheep. I'd tend the garden, cook meals. Hell yeah. We'd sell what we grew to buy copper pots, iron rakes. We'd age with dignity. Evenings you'd play bagpipes of your own making as a remedy for my gloom. But... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... Geralt, say something. I can't lose you. I'm here. These are trying times. We just need to survive. We can dream again when the madness passes. Triss, I... I love you too, Geralt. To the end of time. Yeah! That's good. Didn't learn anything about the, the daughter or anything, though, did we? Uh, maybe I should talk to her again. I want Geralt to get with Triss at the end. I do. And I want them to go off. Alright, so Geralt's made some bad decisions. Well, okay, I've made some bad decisions. Possibly, I don't know. I mean, it could be even... Whoa, the axe went a bit squiffy then. It could have been even worse if I decided, decided, decided with the Scoia'tael. In fact, I highly doubt that if I sided with the Scoia'tael, uh, everything would have been fine and hunky-dory and we'd have all been having a great big party here right now. No, I don't think that would have been happening at all. Um, yes. Makes the game very replayable, honestly to uh because you want to play it again to see what would have happened because these are such epic changes in the storyline you just know i just know that if i'd have taken it a different way it would have been so different um yes. and that's role playing that's proper role playing for you oops all right yes. tris anything else Geralt. right yeah well let's talk let's stay on subject for a bit what do you think happened to alvin Frankly, I never guessed he'd bypass the Dimeridium. That would be a feat for many sorcerers. Mm -hmm. Clearly, he has enough power to teleport himself anywhere, perhaps even through time. All right, nitty gritty now. The king, I don't know what I think about this king really. We've just met him. He's obviously very brave. Going out there in that that cutscene that we saw, very very brave, wants to see things for his for himself. Um, I'm not sure about this Grandmaster character, Grandmaster of the Order. Um, anyway, what do you think? He's asked us to do this quest, which is like a, a personal. He doesn't really want us. He hasn't asked us to interfere with the whole scheme of things. Um, but the knights are becoming too big for their own boots if they're slaughtering civilians, which of course is something that I I didn't expect them to be doing. You think, you know, Knights of the Order, Siegfried especially, uh, you know, noble, chivalrous, do the right thing. Um, anyway, what about the situation with Ada? What do you think about the situation with Ada? She's a Striga, Geralt. I know. We both know that curses don't cast themselves.
Any theories? Years ago when you first removed the curse, you ordered the princess to wear a necklace with an inclusion. Juniper, broom, and hazel branches were to be burned in her chambers. Don't tell me. Someone replaced the necklace and added crap to the fire. <laughs> yes. Someone close to her who knew the secret. Velared might know something. So you think I should aid the king? Definitely. In a sense, I'm a political prisoner. I could teleport away, but that would be highly inappropriate, and I still have a few matters to settle here. What might those be? I wouldn't dream of boring you with them. I know you're busy slaying non-humans. It's not like that. Oh, excuse me. Quelling a rebellion? Is that what they call it? Eliminating terrorists? I see no difference. I've got to go. Yeah. It's possible that someone helped yes. add a turn to- Who's saying yes? I'll kill ya. I will. I'll kill ya. Can't cast any spells or get my weapons out, but I will kill ya. I will. So who's close to Ada? Duet is? Velarad could have? Yes. One of them will be up to something. Greetings, Geralt. Hello. Greetings, Velarad. I saw you were speaking with the king. I gather it was unpleasant. It could be worse. Geralt. Aren't you a bit afraid, Velarad? The king looked irate. At me? I'd watch what I say if I were you. Hmm. I've served Temeria all my life. If they condemn me, I'll hold my head high as I walk to the gallows. So you should. The king told me about Adder. Dreadful. You warned us it might return. Uh, can you break the spell a second time? We'll see. You seem to remember last time well. Certainly. You stayed from dusk till dawn in the old manor house where the Strigger had her sarcophagus. Kept half the city awake with the noise you made. We uh, went to the manor at dawn and saw the two of you lying on the floor by the sarcophagus in a pool of blood. You were barely breathing, but the princess was cured. With the traitor Ostrid dead, the king was overjoyed. Yeah, the epic... Uh, cinematic at the start of the uh, game. Who was Ostrich? Who was Ostrich? He cast the curse out of jealousy. He loved the king's sister. Hmm. Many victims this time round? I don't know. These days, the corpses lie thicker than flies on a pile of manure. Know where the Strigger sleeps in daytime? No, but she's been seen in old Vizima. Uh, she may hunt there. Removing the princess's curse will be risky. True, but the king has ways of encouraging you to do it. We'll see. Do what you will. But remember, Foltest loves his daughter very much. I know. Yeah, if Get I want to side with the king... Farewell. I'm going to have to fix this curse again. <laughs> Seen in old Vizima. Hi. I know we don't really get on, but... Hi. Witcher? Count. <clears throat> no titles, please. Let us bury past misunderstandings in the name of a greater cause. Okay. So be it. Geralt? Don't you fear the king's anger, Duet? Wherever did you get that idea, Witcher? Foltest looked pretty pissed. He <laughs> said something about bloodshed. Obviously, he spoke of the blood of traitors and non-humans. He might finally dispose of that failure, Velerad. So, Velerad and Duet don't get on. Or at least you don't, you don't like Velerad. The king wants me to lift the curse that holds Ada. Not surprising. You succeeded once, though it nearly cost you your life. The Striga's appearance possibly spells the end for Foltest. Many say he offended the gods. Remember how she first became a Striga? No. Remind me. As a youth, Foltest had quite an appetite. So much so that he plowed his own sister. Yikes. Their child died at birth, but then continued to grow in its coffin, only coming out to feed. Then you arrived and broke the spell, though apparently not completely. The Striga's reappearance proves the royal dynasty is cursed. 
The people are sensitive to such signs. No wonder Foltest wants you to kill the Striga. I thought I was supposed to lift the curse. You are to keep the Striga from becoming an eyesore. The chance of removing the curse is minimal. I've heard a rumor of an additional reward for killing the Striga. Would the rumor mention how much? Five thousand orans. Nice number. Any idea who's spreading this rumor? No. However, there are other things to consider. If you do solve the Striga problem, the king might take his savior's advice. Have anything specific in mind? A fresh yet unsigned decree on the king's desk disbands the order. If you ask the king to reconsider, well, your friend Siegfried would be grateful. The plot does thicken.